So if you look at the internet, what glaucoma looks like, you'll often find images like this. And if this would have been true, then we wouldn't have a screening problem because all the patients would see that they have uh, the glaucoma. So a more um, accurate um, representation is probably what you see here. If you have a normal vision on the left top side, you see the children behind the car. Then if you start to develop a glaucoma, it's not like there's a black part in your facial field, but rather your brain tries to fill in the missing parts. We feel that there's uh, really a need uh, for screening of glaucoma. Uh, and if we have the screening, then we can start the treatment earlier and prevent uh, loss of vision. And we plan to use AI to introduce uh, screening for glaucoma. <laughs> so that's, that's something that is not feasible yet because uh, actually the performance of the clinicians in terms of uh, uh, separating the people that actually have glaucoma and those that haven't uh, isn't high enough. Now the challenge is, uh, as I m m mentioned, the prevalence is low, so, so it's about uh, three and a half out of 100. Even if we have a fairly high sensitivity, uh, that means that um, out of those three and a half patients, 3.15 are referred. That seems okay, but then but the problem is in the specificity. So even if, uh, um, if the spe uh, specificity also isn't 90%, that means that out of the, the 96.5 people who don't have glaucoma, we will st still refer almost uh, a 10 of them. And that means that out of all the patients or out of all the people who are being referred, only one out of four will actually have glaucoma. If we implement the system based on these numbers, there will be, there will be a large influx uh, of uh, people in the clinic. We can't handle that. So obviously, we just uh, need to have a higher specificity. So clearly, it's very hard to solve this with humans. So we thought AI would be an excellent option to help us here. So our plan to achieve this is to get 100,000 images from an optical retail chain. So we uh, really are looking at the same people that we would like to screen for, and then augment that with uh, 10,000 images um, from our uh, clinic. We were looking at um, what are all the ingredients that are needed in order to implement uh, a screening system. And then we also thought about what could uh, our role be. So how could we add uh, the most let's say, value, or how could we um, ensure that we would help others to achieve the, uh, uh, this goal. So I think there are a few uh, components that, that are important. We, we have to have the AI algorithms in there. And then once there is a, uh, a solution, we need a company to bring it uh, to the market and to do the support uh, and stuff like that. Well, as a hospital, we're not the best people to focus on the business side or on the algorithm side. But I do think we are the ones that sh should um, uh, push for having a data set, a large uh, data set with high quality annotations that um, is suitable for the development um, and the training of those AI algorithms. Our plan is not to keep it uh, for ourselves and choose our partners exclusively. We'd like to invite um, everyone who's interested in, in uh, using our images uh, for research uh, to build their own, own algorithms and systems uh, on it. So this is where uh, we are now. Uh, we're hoping that um, in about a year we we'll already have a sizable uh, number of images and we can actually start to work um, on the challenges and on pro providing access to um, anyone who's interested. And hopefully I can provide you an update uh, next year or in two years. Thank you.